Hey, what's wrong? Oh, you play healer in Shadowlands? Yeah, we get it. Not to worry, because there is a new patch. Which means things are getting better, right? Well, maybe? In any case, we got you covered. Today, we'll be breaking down our predictions for the healer meta in 9.2. So sit back as we tell you what will truly shine in Shadowlands Season 3. And speaking of a new season, I'm sure you can't wait to get fully upgraded gear, right? Well, did you know that at Skillcapped, we offer a 250 rating guarantee while using our website? Yes, if you don't see rating gains from subscribing, we refund you. Simple as that. So fast track your way to the next gear upgrade. Visit skillcap.com slash wow today. Let's start things off with the best healers this patch, which may include a class you weren't expecting. But something you should expect on our list this season is Resto Druid. After coming off a strong performance in Season 2, Resto Druids are expected to make a triumphant return for Season 3. The patch wasn't too kind to Druids overall, with a nerf to Frenzied Regeneration and Fleshcraft across the board, and some PvE tuning to increase damage and healing by a flat amount was offset by some PvP-specific balance, including nerf to Mana Regeneration and the Verdant Infusion Legendary. That will make it harder to refresh Cenarian Ward twice within its cooldown, which may hurt their performance slightly. So you might be asking, why do we still have Resto rated so high in Season 3? At its core, the spec wasn't really changed at all, and its function as the throughput based healer is likely to carry for the rest of the expansion. This is especially true given their tier set bonuses, which includes a healing over time effect that benefits mastery, and occasional tree form procs on every third press of Swift Mend. Overall, this will make druids better at what they do best, pressing heals. Outside of that, the frenzied regeneration nerf will hurt, but will be most noticeable in 2v2 and shouldn't affect power levels too much in 3v3. Double Legendaries aren't expected to be that groundbreaking outside of Kyrian, which is likely to be another wildcard covenant choice in certain comps. Joining Resto Druid will be Holy Priest, which has climbed up half a tier since our last update. If you played last season, you already know the raw strength of Holy Priests in setup based comps like RMP and Ellie Mage. And with some huge healing increases across the board, Holy is looking even stronger going into Season 3. Holy Priest is the anti-Resto Druid. Instead of high consistent healing, the spec favors bursts of HPS and a hit and run playstyle. One change that went slightly under the radar was a change to Guardian Spirit, which will remain on targets even after proccing, meaning Holy will get more value out of its primary defensive cooldown. Mind Games damage was also nerfed slightly for Holy, but it already had a spec specific damage modifier on the ability, meaning this change is more or less a wash. There are two reasons Holy is looking absolutely insane this season, and the first is a trinket that anyone can use. Unless it gets a nerf, Cosmic Gladiator's Echoing Resolve will be way too strong for Holy Priest, since it gives them an additional CC avoidance tool to use alongside Holy Ward and Greater Fade, making them virtually uncontrollable in some matchups. The other reason we expect to see Holy dominate this season is its potentially broken tier set. The two-piece will grant a buff called Divine Conversation every time a Holy Ward spell is used. The buff will give increased cooldown reduction on the next casted spell. This means if a priest uses Serenity, their next flash heal will decrease the remaining cooldown by 21 seconds instead of 6. And the same interaction will happen with Chastise, where Smite will reduce its cooldown by 21 seconds instead of 6 as long as the two-set buff is active. And with the four set equipped, spells affected by Divine Conversation will be 60% more effective. With even more cooldown reduction on Chastise, these changes will help solidify Holy Priest as the go-to healer for control-heavy setups, and we fully expect to see the return of RMP in Season 3, especially with triple Resonator Trinkets. But speaking of making a return, the biggest redemption arc of this expansion might be Holy Paladins who are looking strong in 9.2. One thing that has hurt Paladins this expansion is their strength in PvE, which unfortunately carried some nerfs over to PvP, where they have been underperforming in recent patches. 9.2 includes some key healing buffs, which will help round out their lackluster healing output outside of Avenging Wrath. But the reason Holy Paladins are looking really strong in this patch is power of their tier set bonuses, both of which interact with Light of Dawn. But you might be asking, wait, do Paladins even cast that spell? Normally, no, but the Necrolord ability called Vanquisher's Hammer gives a buff that will auto cast the Light of Dawn when Word of Glory is used, which is a spell that Paladins actually press. And since the two set increases the healing of Light of Dawn when Word of Glory is used, Necrolord Holy Paladins will have a massive burst healing combo tied into their Vanquisher's Hammer. This is also why Holy Paladins have the strongest double legendary of any healer, with Duty Bound Gavel essentially doubling the combo potential. All in all, this bump in instant healing throughput will help elevate Paladins to the challenge of the Bursty Shadowlands meta, and we expect to see them surge in popularity once tier sets are more widely available. 
Moving down a tier, we have some honorable mentions who will be harder to predict in the Season 3 meta. Resto Shamans will be staying on the A tier for now, but that doesn't mean they can't break the meta. As far as specific tuning is concerned, there was really only a minor nerf to mana regeneration in PvP. But when it comes to tier sets, Resto appears to have one of the strongest four sets of any healer, with totems now auto-proccing an instant cast chain heal. In theory, this just means more consistent on-demand healing during the moments you need it the most. With that in mind, there are two reasons we think Resto Shamans will struggle this patch. The first is the nerf to Fleshcraft, which of course affects multiple classes but will especially hurt shamans in the RMP matchup since they are already fairly vulnerable. The second reason is the nerfs to both Shadow Priests and Arms Warriors, which if you watched our recent tier lists, dropped down tiers since our last update. These two specs occupy the lineup of many popular Resto Shaman comps, so it remains unclear whether or not they will be able to perform as consistently while their two best partners are nerfed. Rounding out the best healers, we have Disc Priests, who are keeping their spot in the A tier this update. Discipline has been really hard to predict this season, especially since they have gravitated away from RMP and towards more attrition-based setups. The patch itself didn't see many changes to the spec as a whole, but included a nerf to Night Fae mana regeneration. What many people seem to be focusing on right now is the four piece for Disc Priests, which creates a new spell combo with lots of potential damage and healing. The four set will give guaranteed procs of Power of Dark Side whenever Radiance is used with an additional multiplier on Penance. This Penance can be made even stronger with Castigation and the Penitent 1 Legendary, which leads to a combination of Penance damage or healing that looks like this. Seems pretty good, right? So why aren't we predicting an explosion of Disc Priests in 9.2? It's the same reason you don't see many Night Fae Resto Shamans. Even though an ability like Fae Transfusion can deal an entire health bar in one channel, it generally requires ideal conditions to do so. The Disc Priest damage combo looks good on paper, but might be more difficult to actually pull off consistently in Arena, especially when globals need to be quickly budgeted in response to high burst damage. With that in mind, we could definitely see Disc having some sleeper OP setups to play in 9.2, especially since there has been massive rebalancing on the melee DPS side of things. Oh yeah, and Disc Priests have some of the best tools for avoiding resonator damage. And that brings us to the end, where one lonely healer remains. Mist Weaver Monk will be spending another season as a giant question mark. There were only two changes, with nerfs to Bone Dust Brew and the Venthyr Legendary. But one thing that is looking up for Monks is its four set, which grants an AoE healing circle bonus that increases each heal by 450. This may seem minor until you consider how often monks heal. A 450 bonus per heal will mean exponentially higher HPS when multiple heals are happening every global. Overall though, monks will be really hard to predict. Last season they circled through many different archetypes, ranging from melee cleaves to booming DH, but despite a lot of rebalancing across the board, we're confident there will be at least one top tier setup for Shadowlands' weirdest healer. Overall, 9.2 is looking better for healers, and balance continues to get closer. Double legendaries aren't expected to really be a massive power boost for anyone except for Holy Paladin, since it interacts with their new healing combo. In any case, this is just a prediction, so keep that in mind while we track the evolution of the Season 3 meta. And once again, if you want to fast track gear updates fast, check out some of our guides over at Skillcap. We offer a money back guarantee if you don't gain at least 250 rating while actively using our website. With over 700 videos to choose from and a subscription costing as little as $4.99 a month, you really have nothing to lose. Don't get held back this season. Get ahead of the competition now at skillcap.com slash wow. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this one. Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think we missed out on anything? As always, though, thanks for watching. See you soon.